Good morning and oh my god. Welcome to um, today's cooking adventure. My name is Hannah and today I'll be cooking brownies and talking about the globalisation and how it's impacting on the legal education and qualification system in South Korea. According to Joseph Stiglitz, it's understood as the integration of countries and peoples brought about by deep um, reductions in the cost of transport and communication and the dismantling of barriers to the flow of goods, services, capital, knowledge and people. Impact on um, globalisation and especially the US and Korea trade relationship has had spoiled effects on the actual legal profession. The idea of the traditional homogenous domestic oriented um, lawyer in Korea is not the same. Oh my gosh, I need to wash my hands. So the South Korean legal education and qualification system before the reforms was inherently elitist. To be qualified as a lawyer, you had to pass the bar exam. The bar exam was an open process, um, so you didn't need an undergrad degree to be eligible to take it, but it was notoriously, notoriously hard. In 1994, it was estimated that with every 10,000 people, there were only two lawyers because the government had put a cap on how many people could actually be a lawyer. The passing rate was between 2 to 5%. Those who were sort of in the legal profession argued that it was an um, equitable process. Um, as Bryant Garth and Yves de Zale would describe, the ability of the elite to reproduce its power in the next generation had been frustrated by the exam system. So really, as an example, the past president, uh, Norman Yon, actually um, graduated middle school, but took this exam and became a human rights lawyer and then eventually the president of South Korea. Actually, the exam posed a lot of problems. So, because of the extreme difficulty of the exam and limited passing rate, um, the legal community was notoriously slow. So, this sort of dictated the role of a lawyer in Korean society. Legal services, sorry, were only available to like a very, very small portion of um, the population, and um, they were only advisors of very large corporations. And even some of the corporations actually relied on um, legal services from foreign firms. Um, and they didn't even advise the government on any sort of policy development or anything like that. So it was more of, uh, if you became a lawyer through the bar process, you were either a judge, a prosecutor, or a small portion of litigators. And the idea of providing an equal opportunity for all um, sort of bar examiners, examinees was sort of undermined by the fact that it was only those who could actually afford the um, tuition fees to go to the cram schools to prepare them for the actual exam. So a lot of people who went to like the Sky University so could only actually um, take this exam and had the resources to do so. And those who wanted to earn money would obviously take an alternative route because um, it, the idea of passing the exam didn't sort of a job prospect out of it. Um, and the bar exam, importantly and in a global context, um, didn't produce lawyers who were well-rounded. So because these um, examinees would focus on just passing the exam, they would focus less, and not at all actually, on legal skills and knowledge, but really on memorization and um, rote learning. So people who would pass the bar exam would go uh, to the Practical Judiciary Research and Training Institute, uh, run by the Korean, Korean Supreme Court, um, and they would only be trained as judges, prosecutors, um, or litigators. So, the influence of um, globalisation meant that the government had to change its idea um, and sort of speak with the legal profession um, with what the role of the lawyer is. Because, um, and so, ironically, as I mentioned earlier, um, with Norm Yeon, uh, the, the past president, when he came into um, administration, um, he created the Judicial Reform Committee as part of his sort of general policy of um, bringing Korea onto the economy and um, as, a, as a sort of like an international player um, and, and to also strengthen ties with the US because at that point there had been a lot of bilateral agreements um, including the Dialogue for Economic Cooperation. So amongst the committee's main objectives was to produce qualitative and globally competitive legal professionals. This um, eventually sparked the government to introduce the um, American three-year Juris Doctor program under the Graduate Law School Act in 2007. As a precondition to be admitted to law schools, students are required to submit the score of their um, 
and importantly, proof of foreign language proficiency. So this, the Act provided for this degree to be taught exclusively in 25 universities with a 2,000 student intake nationwide. And as a prerequisite, students are required to complete um, a four-year undergraduate degree with a third of the cohort being allocated for students from non-law backgrounds. So this goes back to the diversity of the legal um, of the legal cohort and eventually the profession. Um, and although the system retains the bar examination, um, the, what the big difference from the old system is that there is a 75% passing rate cap. The new system obviously has attracted a lot of criticism, primarily from those within already in the legal profession who've gone through the difficult path of the old system. So importantly, they argue they, that by adopting the American legal education system, Korea is compromising its national character to pursue a popular international trend. So essentially the system would um, devalue the bar exam and create a rapid rise in the number of lawyers. Essentially they retain their view of the traditional role of a Korean lawyer who has a limited role in society's affairs and should only, be, um, should only provide legal services to the exclusive few. An American legal system wouldn't recognise this role. They also argue that it creates inequality as individuals cannot afford education in new law schools. Um, and also the burdens and requirement to learn English as well adds to the fact that a lot of students who already cannot afford the high tuition fees will have to have this additional requirement to learn a new language, which should also be costly. Interestingly, these sentiments are echoed by academics Philip Altback and Jane Knight. It describes the global education, uh, which is predominantly characterised by unidirectional student flows and asymmetrical cultural transformations where there's a predominance of faculty dominated um, western academic models and the prevalence of the english language which, which only benefits students who have that sort of uh, exclusive or privileged um, ability to only study in universities in western europe and north america which are more highly recognized in the international realm and to also reference Simon Chesterman, um, the Dean of the Law School at the National University of Singapore, the ability of graduates to enter into the top jobs is increasingly tied to their ability to study in the most expensive or exclusive institutions. It simply becomes a discourse of the rich. So by importing the American system into um, Korea, it has also is essentially assisted a lot of students who have not been able to um, enter the law school in the old system due to the difficulty of the bar exam um, to use their sort of position to um, enter into the profession. Uh, recently, Carol Silva, Jae Hyop Lee and Ji Hyun Park recently conducted studies attributing a preference for Korean students who have attended law schools in the US and therefore free, um, fluent in English and the ability to actually work in um, the US as um, sort of litigators or lawyers um, by most Korean law firms so that the law firms have um, a competitive streak um, amongst the other international firms that are coming into Korea. So this demonstrates that unless students are willing to become the traditional prosecutor, judge or litigator, there is great difficulty for them to enter into this new legal profession unless they have had the um, ability to complete their studies abroad. All in all, we can conclude by saying that globalisation, although it has sort of well, influenced the changes in Korea's um, legal education by um, assisting in equipping students to become more global lawyers, what it has is also perpetuated this inequality because um, most students aren't able to have the opportunity to learn a new language but, but also to pay the high tuition fees that these um, new degrees are requiring. I hope you enjoy our brownies. Um, <laughs> this will be a better conclusion.